In today's video, I'll show you how to import complex beam column plan from AutoCAD directly into eTabs so that your modeling becomes faster, more accurate and more professional. If you are working in a design office or doing real projects with deadlines, then this method will really help you to work smarter and will save a significant time of yours. So let's begin. What you are seeing on the screen right now is our example project, the complex Y-shaped multi-story building that we are going to model in ETAPS. As you can see, it is a multi-story residential floor plan with six flats on each floor, three flats on the left side and three on the right side. Now here's the interesting part. Both the left and right wing are placed at an angle. That means the column and beam will be at an angle not straight, not 90 degree like in regular buildings. This is exactly where manual modeling process becomes challenging. If we try to create this whole model in ETAPS using the traditional grid method, it will take one or two days for us to complete this process. But in this today's video, the method that we are going to use will make the entire modeling process super quick. Done in just in few minutes using AutoCAD and ETAPS together. So the first thing preparing the beam column layout in AutoCAD. All right. So before we bring anything into ETABS, our first step is to prepare the beam column layout inside AutoCAD. This step is very important because it forms the foundation of our structural modeling in ETABS. As you can see on my screen, I have already opened the architectural plan in AutoCAD. It has everything, rooms, walls, furniture, dimensions. But for ETABS, we do not need all of this. We only need the structural elements like columns and beams. So let's start with the columns first. You can see I am selecting all the rectangles that represent the columns. I will select all of them together. Now I will use the CO command which stands for copy and I will paste this column to the side of the drawing in an empty area. This side area is where we will prepare our clean layout specially made for ETAPS. Now here is a very important step. ETAPS needs to know which objects are column and which are beams. To do so, we will assign them in separate layers. So let's type the layer command or just type LA as a shortcut. Now I will create a new layer and name it columns for ETABS. Done. Now I will select all the columns again and from the property bar, I will change this layer to columns for ETABS. That's it. All columns are now in columns for ETABS layer which ETABS can easily detect later. But let's make sure that we do not miss any columns. For this, here's a quick trip. Right click anywhere on the empty space and choose quick select. Now in the quick select window, from the property list select layers as we want to select all the objects present inside a layer. And from the value select columns for ETABS from the list. Then click on OK. Now you can see all the objects from the column layer are selected. This step makes sure that we are not leaving any column behind by mistake. There's one more important thing here. Every column must be a closed rectangle. If we make a column using the line tool, it may just be four open lines. ETABS won't recognize this column. So now what to do? Just select the column lines and type join command. It will connect the lines and form a closed loop. Now ETABS will detect it properly. Okay, columns are done. Now let's move on to the beams. For beams, we do not draw full rectangle. Instead, we just need the center line for the beams. One line per beam, that's enough for ETABS to understand the beam length and location. You can see I have already drawn center lines for all the beams. Every beam starts either from a column or connects to another beam. This is very important. Otherwise, ETABS won't properly place it or transfer loads correctly. If you want to know how exactly I decided to place columns like this, how to select initial size of columns and how to decide architectural plan and beam placement, then we have a complete dynamic earthquake and wind force based advanced building design course for you. You can find the course link in the description box below. Now I will select all the beam center lines like this and again use the CO command to copy them. I will paste them near the copied columns so everything stays aligned. While pasting, I will use a corner column as a reference point. This will keep the placement exact, just like we did for columns. Now we need to create a new layers for beam. So again, I will type layer command and create a new layer named beams for column. Now I will move all the beam lines into this layer, select them all like this 
and from the layer drop down choose beams for e tabs one last time let's double check again use quick select to confirm all the beam lines are in the correct layer or not once done our beam column layout is now fully ready for e tabs now it's time to save this cleaned up layout as a dxf file because e tabs can easily read dfx format so i will select all the columns in beam then press ctrl plus c on the keyboard to copy them all now i will open a new drawing file and paste everything using ctrl plus c on the keyboard to paste all the items then go to the file menu click on save as and choose the file format as autocad 2013 dxf format let's name it i will call it complex autocad to etabs floor plan and save the file and that's it the first and most time consuming part is now complete now we are fully ready to switch to etabs and start building the structural model based on this drawing as you can see the rest of the process is going to be super quick importing autocad plan and auto modeling in etabs all right now let's switch to etabs and start building the actual model using the plan we just prepared in autocad first switch to etabs software now we are going to import the dxx file that we created from autocad let's do this step by step first go to the file menu at the top left corner hover over the import option then select dxf file for architectural plan from the list a very important note here make sure your autocad file is not open at the time of importing if it is open etabs will show error and the import will fail so please close the file in autocad before doing this now file browser will open find the .dxf file and just save it i am selecting mine now and then click on open next etabs will ask you units for the importing drawing since our autocad file was using fits and inches i will select the inch here then it will ask where you want to place the plan in our case we want to place it at the plinth level do not worry we will copy this layout in the upper floors later on you will also see an option for add beams at center line make sure to uncheck this because we have already created all the beam center lines manually in autocad and that's it now look at the screen the entire beam column plan is imported into e tabs exactly the way we prepared it in autocad the structure looks perfect and matches the original design now let's quickly create the columns on the left side open the model explorer then go to the display tab click on 3d view and from here go to the architectural layer section here you will see the same layers we created in autocad which is columns for e tabs and beams for e tabs now to create the columns simply right click on the columns for e tabs layer and click add column object and done e tabs has now automatically created all the columns with the exact size and location that we have drawn in autocad we do not have to provide any column size to the e tabs it will automatically read it from the autocad column layout how quick and fantastic feature that e tabs is providing us just imagine if we were doing this manually we would have to create a frame list enter each column size and place every column one by one it would have easily taken hours to do so but with this method the same task is done in just few seconds same method go to the beams for e tabs layer right click and select add beam objects now e tabs will take a couple of minutes around 2 or 3 minutes to process the beam lines but this is still much faster compared to drawing beams manually once it's done go to the 3d view and you'll see that e tabs have created null lines these are just place holders where the beams will go now we need to assign beam properties to these null lines so that they become actual structural beams to do this first we need to select all the null lines for this go to select menu then select then click on object type in the list choose null lines and click on select now all the null lines are selected close the selection window now we will assign the beam properties go to the assign menu then frame then section property for now i am assigning a basic beam section we can always change or customize it later on on the basis of design needs as soon as i click apply and then press the extrude toggle button boom it has instantly created hundreds of beams fully placed at the exact location where we wanted and it looks perfect in the 3d the same thing 
would have taken us an entire day if we would have gone through the manual process. So this is how we as professional structural engineer create models for complex buildings in ETAPS quickly and accurately without wasting time on repetitive manual process. If you want to learn this entire process in detail from modeling to analysis to design and RCC detailing in RCDC software then do check our dynamic earthquake and wind force based advanced building design course. The link is in the description box below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified for all the future updates. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care, keep learning and keep building.